I was on the news? First off, can we admire this shirt? Fantastic. Definitely gonna be wearing it more often. And it was only nine bucks at your local Walmart. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I don't hate the idea. So I recently got in contact with an old friend of mine and he's helping pull together a small production company. He asked me if I wanted to join and I said, Yes. So we've been filming music videos, we've been having a lot of fun, things are great. And compared to these people, I am such a newbie. Like, I knew I was new, but I was happy with the equipment I have, just no, not even... <laughs> But I was asked if I wanted to help edit a video. 30 second PSA, and I said, yeah, sure. You know, I haven't edited in a while. I want to get some practice in. I have time for that. And for all of us local Rhode Islanders, there was kind of a small issue with the marketing of the state. The local government here spent about $5 million on a new logo and commercial, but the logo is crap. And the video had shots of places that weren't even in Rhode Island. So apparently the video I was editing was them making their own campaign to show that, hey, it doesn't cost millions of dollars and we have great things and great people here. So they went around, they got some of these amazing shots throughout the state, and it was my job to edit it together. It's a statement, but no one's getting hurt, and it's for a good cause. Yeah, totally down. So the producer says, hey, handyman, can you do like a test narration just so I can show the flow to the actual narrator that I will be hiring for this commercial? Yeah, sure, no problem. So, you know, I edited the video and I put on my best Barry White impersonation, showed him the test footage, and he was so blown away by my narration that they did not hire the narrator and just went with me. What I didn't know is that this man was willing to pay to air this on local cable TV. I completely underestimated the project. 30 second PSA was actually a political protest to the government of Rhode Island. I'm thinking we're just gonna post it on the internet somewhere. No, we're gonna be airing it on cable TV. And he comes back to me a couple of days later, he's like, oh, did you see the progress? Did you catch it on the news? I was on the news? So he pulls up turn to 10com and there's a commercial. Right there, on the news. They're talking about it, on the news. When I first started working with these people, it was great just to be back in the field and be making art with a group of dedicated people. We can just pull together this amazing group of artists to pull out a fantastic film in little to no time with little to no money. And to think the first video that I edit with these people made the news. If that's not a sign that I'm going in the right direction, I don't know what is. It's very hard to get into any kind of industry with art, especially nowadays with the media and social media and how anyone can become famous at any point in time. Everyone's trying to get into the field, which sucks for the people who truly want to be in the field and don't just want to get famous. Ooh. Oh, goodness. I'm breaking my own shit over here. But if you want to watch the actual PSA video, you can click right here or check the description because there will be a link to the news article and another physical link to the video if you want to watch it. But please subscribe, share, like, tell your friends. I have a video coming out every week now. And as a teaser for my new project that I will be posting here. Yeah, this is happening. Ooh, audio quality, yeah.